I heard that you completed the harrowing in record time. I should have been sent to help the King's army. I dislike being stuck here while something big is happening. Greetings. I'm glad your harrowing went well. I am Cullen. I was to strike the killing blow if you had uh, become an abomination. I am glad you didn't. Some Templars I know discuss such things with glee. I don't share their enthusiasm. I try to serve the Maker first and foremost. As long as I am guided by his commandments, I cannot go wrong. Honestly, I've never seen an abomination, or been called on to slay one. As I said, I've never seen one, but when someone becomes an abomination, something must happen. But what if it's not obvious? Could abominations be walking among us right now? This is still new to me. Maybe one day I'll be as dedicated and driven as Knight Commander Gregor. You must be busy. Perhaps we can talk another time. look well. That's wonderful. I was thrown up for a full week after my hand. Going. Ah, oh, it's great to see you. It's always sad when an apprentice fails the harrowing. You're not going to keep the first enchanter waiting, are you? Ah, this is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen Owain? Is he in the stockroom? Oh, excellent. He wasn't there last I looked. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Bless... Oh, hello. I'm reciting the Maker's blessings. Would you like to join me? Yes, I love that prayer. Would you say it with me? Wonderful. I'll start over. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Thank you for praying with me. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. No, no, not really. It's just... I, I don't want to bore you with this. It gives me hope that one day the Maker will hear us, that maybe I'll be forgiven and my curse will be lifted. 
Magic? What else? Magic causes such misery. It's dangerous and vile and wicked. The Chantry must protect the world from us. Being born with something so terrible must be a punishment. I wish I could be rid of it. That doesn't take magic. If I could, I would dedicate my life to the Chantry. But they would never take me in. Perhaps this is just something I will have to suffer through. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then... Where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. The Darkspawn threat grows in the south. We need all the help we can get. They are twisted monsters that dwell underground where the sun's light cannot touch them. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor lad with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for him. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the Circle of Magi. You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them. Proudly, for you have earned them. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the rite. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. Not yet. Remember, the tower's walls protect us as much as they protect others from us. I will return to my quarters. 
Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Move along now. <laughs> 